one faded sound of picture. I'm your host, Sheila Wickendall, and our topic for today is aerobics. My guests are Val Walter, who's a participant in aerobics, Nancy Walter, who is an instructor for the University of Northern Iowa Wellness Program, and Nancy Johnson, who is an instructor for St. Luke's Hospital in Cedar Rapids. Thanks for being with us today. The first question I'd like to ask is, what is aerobics? Well, what I basically think aerobics is, is it's a type of exercise where you're working all parts of your body. And by doing this, you have to intake a certain amount of oxygen to work those parts to achieve the full benefits. We should do it for about 15 to 20 minutes to get the full effect. And what, what, what benefits do you get from doing it for 15 to 20 minutes? Well, you get the oxygen in your lungs, which is great. It reduces your um, cholesterol level, aerobics does. I think there are several benefits. You can look at the physical benefits, the psychological benefits. And if you look at the physical side of it, what benef the benefits that you achieve could be such things as weight loss or it just makes you feel better. It reduces your stress level, makes you more productive. Okay. Who gets involved in aerobics? Pretty much everybody. I've taught a lot of different classes, young kids, even uh, 15 year old children. Uh, I've taught 50 year old ladies, everybody, men. Is it good for like the young children to get involved in aerobics? Yeah, but they don't they don't want to get as physical as maybe people that are, are full grown on their bones. They don't want to have as much stress on them. What about the older people? Do you have a lot? Is there a more older people getting active. It's yeah. like we see a lot more of walking. Yeah, uh, walking is great. Um, a lot of the people, the older ladies I teach, they go for about three times a week, and they usually go on walks and they stretch out and do some exercise on their own. I think a lot of people are are more aware of what exercise, how good exercise is for for you. Now, why do more women do aerobics than men? I've seen more women just because. It seems to be more, this just a stereotype of aerobics is with women. I mean, what you see on TV, what you hear, but it's just as good for men as it is for women. It's just that women seem to be more flexible and they seem to be more coordinated in that type of activity where a man wants to be involved in strenuous activities such as racquetball or tennis where their movements are more quick and not so defined. I think too, men like to do activities that are competitive. You know, more than women do sometimes, and that's how they get their exercise. But I did, I, I've been to a lot of classes where there are a lot of men, a lot, sometimes more men than women. Aren't you finding, you know, perhaps there are more and more now cold educational classes? Yeah. I know that a lot of men have um, been told by their coaches or by certain fitness people that they should get involved in aerobics just to increase their flexibility for a certain sport. Or, to maybe develop one part of their body more that needs work or a better coordination. Yeah. So I assume it's just as beneficial for men and women. Yeah. It's just changing their views yeah. on it. Okay. How do you get aerobics into how do you get into it? Start aerobics and how do you start teaching it? Oh, well, it's easy to get involved. You can just go to any club, um, hospital, call up Anybody, even like the YMCA yeah. or YWCA. They have big classes, there's so many classes now that you have no excuse, you know. I, did, I got involved uh, oh, about six years ago. First of all, uh, I had just went to uh, a club. Now I am participating in our school wellness program so that it's advantageous not only cost-wise, but also it's right in the building. 